shit, but I'm going to City Winery. I like literally like had to get out of the house. Like I felt so like stuffed up there. Like does that make sense? Like all stocked up. Like it was. I needed. I needed to get out. So I'm about to head over there. I'm going to the one in Chelsea, New York. So it's like near like the Hudson River. It's a really pretty area. I've been in the past, but never alone. But let's see how this goes, you know? I wanna like take myself out on like a nice like solo date. Bruh, look at this. This shit is fucking ridiculous. This is ridiculous. It's like we don't shovel sidewalks anymore. just finished the wine tasting guys he let me try i think you're only allowed you're supposed to try only like five or whatever but so you try like five wines or whatever you know you get like the flight um <clears throat> i tried six of them and honestly they were all pretty good like i i'm a chardonnay girl i don't know about y'all i like pinot grigio and i like chardonnay what do y'all like let me know let me know in the comments what y'all be drinking if you drink wine what y'all be drinking um if you're wine people like me winos as they call it <laughs> um so now i'm about to go into chelsea market um i was talking to the like wine like connoisseur i forget what he what's he called the wine i don't know connoisseur no Dang, I can't remember the name of what they called. Those people that I be knowing about wine. I forget what they called. But I was talking to him. He was like, check Chelsea Market. Like, they sell drinks. They sell food. Da, da, da. And I'm like, okay. I've been in Chelsea Market before. And I probably had, like, one drink from there. But he was like, there's mad places that sell drinks. So I'm like, okay. I'm about to go right now. Like, what? I'm having a... I'm having the time of my life. Like, literally, that was so lit. I love wine, y'all so that was nice to try all of the wines and then at the end you were able to like buy a bottle but i was like i don't really want none of them bottles like because i already know like what i like like so i prefer to like just like buy like what i know i like instead of like buying like what they tell me to buy you know i think i'm a little bit i think i'm a little drunk i'm not gonna lie I tried a bit of it. I tried, I tried a lot of the wines. So I'm feeling a little, feeling a little litty. Feeling a little litty. Oh my God. Hedonist is in here, guys. Hedonist is the spot where, the hot sauce bar. Like where they have like the, the hot sauces from Hot Ones. Ooh, I'm about to get it. I'm about to get it. I'm about to get it. I bought that hot ass sauce y'all so I'm gonna make a video of me trying that hot ass sauce like it's the hot ones it's like the last dab I don't know if y'all watch hot ones but yeah it's literally my one of my faves like I need to be on that show so I can show them what's up like that shit don't even be that hot I bet you I bet you and I'm in this place called Takumi Taco and they have spiced drinks spiked I said spice spike drinks they have spike drinks so i got the spiked peach tea y'all okay so i'm on my way to bathhouse now literally like i wanted to do like a super early like a really oh my god i hate when the 
MTA thing we talking. Okay. Oh, it's a bathhouse now. I really wanted to do like a really early morning thing, but like, I don't know, I overslept. I had so much to do, so much going on. So I just ended up doing like a one o'clock appointment. So I'm really hoping that it's not crowded, but I guess we'll see. like those like plastic phone holders so that you could put your phone into the water so if it look a little blurry i apologize then i got this they have a little um restaurant in there but i didn't want to go there because i gotta do a mad stuff today so i'm like let me not stop in and take forever because i know as soon as i go to a restaurant i'm gonna get alcohol i'm gonna get drunk and i'm gonna forget everything that i have to do so I was like, that's a dub. I did get this little drink though. And it tastes mad good. It's like an unsweetened soda. I like it. Okay, so I'm back home and I kind of just want to give you like a little review of Bath House. I enjoyed it because I love spas, but it wasn't amazing. Let me tell you why. Okay, so I got there probably for like, uh, like a 1.30 appointment. It was very, very crowded. There are only three pools. There are three pools, a massage area, and I think three saunas. Um, there's a wet sauna, there's a dry sauna, and a tropical sauna, um, which is, I mean, like, that's fine, but it's very, very small and very, very tight. So because the pools are so small and there's so many people at a time, people are kind of like, just kind of like all huddled together in the pools. and. I don't like that, especially not during COVID. I kind of feel like they need to have kind of like a setup where they like limit how many people comes at a time. If they're already doing that, fine, but it's it's it doesn't give you that like oasis vibe that usually you have when you go to a spa. So like that was just mm, I ain't like that. There's no lounge area. So like if you've ever been to so Sojo Spa, like there's this, this big open lounge area where you could like chill and relax and like, you know, just vibe out. It's like two marble seating areas um, and they're really tight. So like not that many people could like sit on it and a lot of people are actually laying down on them. So that's really not enough space at all. Probably could fit like maybe five people. So if there's a group of y'all, all five of y'all is not sitting there, like that's just not gonna happen. This spa didn't really have that like clean cleanliness thing to me because you could go in the restaurant with your like dirty winter boots or whatever, and you can also be in that same restaurant wearing like the slippers that they give you um, to like go down into the like pools with. Mm. In other spas, I like the idea of how they like let you take your shoes off before you even go into the spa area at all, like. They didn't do that here like you're wearing your dirty winter dirt boots or whatever in the same area as people are walking barefoot nah nah fam nah when you book it it's 55 and then they add a little tax on it so if you go like basically so if you go like monday to friday the pricing is like 55 dollars or whatever yeah the pricing is like 55 dollars if you go like monday through friday regular time whatever same price as if you go on the weekend um but if you go like 11 a.m or earlier than that and they open i think like 8 a.m so if you go very very early like before 11 a.m during the week that's going to be your lowest price and that one is 45 dollars, which is what i wanted to do um i've done that in the past when i went and i like that because like there's way less people if you go at nine in the morning like not many people are in the spa at 9 a.m on a monday pricing to me is it's too expensive for like what they have like it's too expensive to me but they do have a lot of like massage packages which i didn't do i didn't do a massage because i'm not really that crazy about people touching up on me and stuff maybe another time i'll try it. i've never done a massage before but maybe one day i'll give that a try um but for this moment i was like mm -mm, no sir i'm okay when the vibes is not immaculate you get a little bit like why have i just paid it you know what i mean and that's like the vibe that you get like when you live in new york so yeah anyway guys this is the end of this vlog thank you so much for watching thank you guys for coming to the end of the video with me um make sure you subscribe to my channel you can follow me on instagram i got my socials in the description and i'll see you guys in the next video Bye.